As the fear of a potentially deadly pandemic sweeps across the globe, we find our two intrepid adventurers purchasing an ancient van older than time itself. In their haste, they speedily transformed the empty, hulking carcass into a makeshift traveling home. Having never undertaken an endeavor of this magnitude before, they made a multitude of mistakes along the way. Armed with nothing more than a few rudimentary tools and an unquenchable thirst for freedom and adventure, the two pressed on. They vowed to not allow a lack of knowledge undermine their zeal to get the job done. Minute by minute, hour by hour, and day by day, the old Dodge was eventually transformed into a comfortable home on wheels, but not without many mistakes made along the way. This is a record of those mistakes. Yep, here's one of the mistakes made along the way. It's one thing like to build decks and you know put up walls and houses and all that. I've done all that before. But it's a whole other situation trying to build inside a tiny area, 247 square feet or cubic feet, some measurement of feet. So I messed up in a few places, more than a few, let's be real. This was, you know, this is one of the main ones. We can't sit up in bed. Rachel can kinda sit up in bed. I cannot, you can see how, like I'm sitting on my butt. Like, I would love to be able to just sit cross-legged on the bed sometimes, but we can't do that. And the problem is, I measured the height I wanted the bed to be, but then I promptly disregarded that height and thought it would be okay. I thought as long as the totes will slide under there with no problem, then it'll be okay. But I didn't factor in the rest of the wood and all the bedding and all that. So, yeah, I can't set up in here. Which sucks. Because even just trying to put on shoes or whatnot, it's, it's tough in here. Could I lower it? Sure, I could lower it. But, uh, everything's tied in together. Which is a good thing, but we also can't sit on the bed, which is a bad thing. We can't sit upright on the bed. And, bluntly, it makes it not fun sometimes for married people things. It's a good thing Rachel's small. Also, behind my seat here is just a... It's bad. Let's just say it's bad. This is where our battery is. The big house battery. If you ever you've never seen the big house battery, there it is. And this is just a conglomeration of tools and all that back here. But the, what I was wanting to do, or what I was going to do at some point, was make all this back in here storage. But I didn't do it before we started living in it, and then it's just difficult to do now. Like there's a lot of wasted space up here. And yeah, I ran Romex wire all throughout the van. I read on a lot of forums, people said don't do it, but I haven't. we haven't had one issue yet. They said it breaks real easy. Y'all seen some of the roads we've been down. Never had an issue with it breaking. So and if it does break, I'll just fix it. It was just way cheaper that way. This is just, it's just terrible up in here. And it's all this wasted space. There's our inverter. But it's just all this space back in here that we could be, I mean, this is literally from here to here, from back of my seat to back here is probably a foot and a half. So there's there's room for activities back there. I've just never done it because I'm a dum-dum. This is the other side of that. See, there's our inverter right there. It shows you how much room there could be back there. Because it's that, you know, it's the width of that. And then it's probably maybe two feet deep. So it could be actually quite a bit of storage, but never finished it. So, yep, that's on me. Putting in the ceiling, I bought, the, these are four by eight sheets of this, whatever this is here. And we put insulation in, 
that's just half inch thick insulation put that up there and then got these and screw these into the into the ribs you can see but what, what we should have done is started it over here on either this edge or that edge over there either moved it either moved it this way or that way so then we'd only have one cut to make whenever we wanted to come fill this back in no we didn't do that we put it in the middle so now whenever we come back and finish it we're gonna have to make a cut on this side and we have to do it over there too and it's a lot of work for not a lot of return on the work does that make sense <laughs> hey there's tj boy and what's bad is the longer you live in it and get used to it you don't really see it anymore you know and i know there are people watching the watching the channel new every day and they're like why is this an unfinished van it's because i'm lazy and i'm stupid and i'm playing when i say those things i just haven't done it yet but it needs to be done as far as aesthetics this up here is one of the our biggest problems and then the front of the van too because it goes you know it's just rough there <clears throat> if you think in the summertime if this doesn't get hot <laughs> there are times you can't touch it it's so hot and I'm not even, I'm not even joking. So, you know, we have a roof vent right here. And then one right here. Only one of them has a fan on it. So we decided just to put the one with the fan up by where we'd be cooking. And my thought was, because it's only like $15 more to get them with a fan. My thought was, well, I'll just get two of them. And then we can, you know, maybe I can wire one up and just run it backwards. And then we could have one sucking and one blowing. That'd be great. But I read a bunch of reviews. And everybody's like, no, they won't, you can't, they, they won't run backwards. And I'm like, eh, they would. But I, I took their word for it. And it wouldn't do it until I was hooking up the one in the front and it'll run backwards which would have been so nice to have one with air coming in and one with air going out just keep the circulation going in there because they don't use hardly any battery but so we wish whenever we bought this back one that we'd have bought one fan on it because it would make things so much nicer you know, suck in cool air, or get rid of hot air, or suck in warm air and make cold. It would it would make air circulate. Is what I'm saying. That's all the things that would happen. And this is another one of those things that we get asked about a lot, and also wasn't done properly, or for whatever reason, sucks. This here, this is a solar shower. I watched a lot of YouTube videos before I started doing this on about how we would be able to shower out in the wood, wild, foresty areas where the showers are not available. Concept is great. Put water in it. Then back here, you pump it up with a compressor, and then you can take a shower is what I'm saying. Take a, you know, clean yourself. Make yourself not smell like a water buffalo expired adjacent to you. It's just never worked out. So I don't know if we're going to keep this or go upgrade to like one of the propane heater, water heaters at some point. We may keep this just for water, for water storage, for showers. I just don't know yet what we're going to do. But this is another one of those situations that just hasn't worked out. But honestly, I don't want to take it off because it's kind of part of the van now. You know, I mean, it's one of those things that says, hey, this is a sand van. Well, Y'all bleep, bleep it down and, and, you know, tell me if we should keep it up, keep it up here or take it down and water storage for showers somewhere else. Plan was to be able to open up these back doors and you can see we have these here. This is like real, this is like CPVC, real thick. And I built a frame that would come off of them that would come out here after we open the doors up and it would doors would be held open then we could put a shower curtain on it man if it's windy which it usually is everywhere we go i don't think we go anywhere where it's not windy 
it feels like the shower curtain is trying to make love to you. I don't mind something trying to make love to me as long as it's my wife. Anything else I don't need. And we, you know, tried weighing it down and all that. I don't know how else to do it. Now, we did have a subscriber get us a pop-up shower tent, which is great. We'll probably start using that more when, when we can finally get back out, which we're really wanting to do. So anyway, these are some of the main things wrong with the van. There are other little, little things, but these are the major. And the biggest one is obviously the bed being too low, too high. Yeah, I knew it was one of those. Those are the only two options. But regardless of whatever we have going on with the van that we don't like, it's still our home. You know, and anybody that, has any kind of house there are always things that they'd they, they wish they could do to it i've never met anybody even that had a million dollar home that wasn't like well i wish this was over here or this was done differently so it will probably never be finished with it but short story long or medium story a little bit short or long really long story condensed down to not much i don't know however you want to say that even with all the things that we would change about the van. We wouldn't change the van itself. We wouldn't change the lifestyle. We wouldn't change what this thing means for us, to us. Just keep that in mind that even though, even though we're pointing out negatives about the build that I did wrong, doesn't mean we don't like it. It just means that there are things we could improve on. But anyway, we thank y'all for watching. We like you. We really wish you would watch more. I don't know how to end a video ever. I don't understand how to do it. But anyway, y'all have a good, whatever time of day it is you're watching this, have the rest of it till you, whatever goes on, be good and have a good time. Anyway, we'll talk to y'all later.